Well, it is December 20th. It is the last day of muzzleloader season here in New York. And uh, got the guys together. We're gonna push out a little section of uh, brush and pines that I believe that uh, the buck that I call flat top is living in. I got Kaylee over here to my right. I just had about four doe and a little buck go by. I haven't even started to drive yet. I just got down here where I want to be. And uh, like I was saying, the deer we're hunting down here is a buck that I call a flat top. they have been hunting like crazy. There's another seven point down here that I'd shoot. Three and a half year old deer, but uh, I'm in a good spot. And if these deer are where I think they are, I think they're gonna come down through here. We'll uh, see what happens. It's a real cold morning. I got Monty, Brock, and Jake are about to walk through here, up here. So we'll see you. Uh, I got this spike over here looking at me still. So we'll see what comes down through here. Hopefully the big boy shows, shows himself. That drive was pretty intense. I seen probably 35, 40 deer. Four bucks for sure, maybe, I'm pretty sure five, but four of them confirmed bucks. And not one of them was a buck that I was looking to shoot. But that was pretty awesome. We're gonna go up to the upper farm and we're gonna drive uh, a chunk of our property off a side hill off our food plot and uh, Kaylee and I are in the doe killing business. We got a couple doe tags left over and uh, we're gonna be looking to film them on this drive. We just did a drive at uh, our, our, our lower farm and uh, I was kind of targeting an area where flat top was at and I mean I had like 35 deer come by me. Seen five, five bucks or so and just not 
not the deer I was looking for, but uh, it was a good it was a good drive. So we'll come up here and see what uh, see what we can get into. Hopefully, Kaylee and I can put a big doe on the ground, or if magically a shooter buck shows up, maybe we can put one down. So stay tuned, and we'll have the have the smoke pulls out and ready to rock and roll. Hopefully. Well, Kaylee and I are all set up for our second drive this morning. Now the target is a mature doe. There's not a there's not a shooter buck in this piece of woods that I know of. So uh, so we're gonna try to put down a few does. She's got my GoPro up there, so hopefully she can capture capture her shot on video. I got my good camera here. I'm sitting right on a pretty heavily used trail, so if, if a mature doe runs up this trail, she's in trouble. Overlooking the bottom of the swamp here. I just seen I uh, had about 10 deer come up through here, look like all doe except one little fork horn. And uh, I just shot at a doe standing about 30 yards from me. Of course with these muzzle loaders, all you see is a cloud afterward, but I felt like I was right on her, but she took off running. So I'd be really, really surprised if I missed her. I could have shot her with my recurve just about for crying out loud. So if I missed her, that's not good. I can see right where she was standing. I don't see any blood from here, but we'll wait till the drivers get to us and we'll go check out uh, check out where she was standing and see if I hit her. I haven't heard a shot up here from Kaylee yet. Well, here come the drivers. Let's go down and see uh, if I got any blood where this doe was standing. Can't imagine I missed her, but if I did, whew, not good. I was gonna say I probably blew She acted so like quick. she didn't even get hit. Probably went through so quick. She just she kept did. jogging after I shot. How many did you see? Ten. One buck and the rest of those. There's Brock down there, but stop him unless he sees a deer. Well, it is December 20th here in uh, western New York and it's the last day of the muzzleloader season. And I have a couple more doe tags that I needed to fill and the guys came out here and did a drive for us and kicked uh, about 10 deer by me, one little buck, and picked out the biggest doe out of the Beep. whole group and let her have it at about 30 yards as you can see on the video. And she ran about 60 yards from where the hit was and uh, dropped over dead. So. It's nice to see that I can still actually kill something. It's been a while, but uh, we might go dabble with some more. Kaylee's got a couple doe tags to fill and we'll go see what we can do. Got some work to do here and get her up out of here. Well, I hope everybody's enjoying our uh, last day of muzzleloader season here in New York. Uh, I just pounded that doe with a muzzleloader and she didn't even react to the shot. I honestly almost kind of thought that I, that I had missed her somehow. But uh, anyways, as you see on the video, she only ran a little ways. Why I'm interrupting you here is I'm going to break this video in half into two parts because if I just made one video, it would be almost 20 minutes long and nobody wants to sit there and watch 20 minutes of video 
and uh, keep watching it. I mean, some people will, but I'm going to break this video into two parts. So, on the next half of this video, it's the same day. It's uh, it's going to be our uh, third drive of the morning, and we're going to go and uh, do another drive. So, you can join us uh, on the next video. There, it'll be part two. So, if you click on the link up right here in the corner, it'll take you to the second part of this video. I know I know a lot of my uh, subscribers here on YouTube follow me on Snapchat as well and I get it, I do a lot of uh, European mounts for people and uh, I did my brother's buck that I called Shorty. I did his European mount and if you want to watch that video of recovering that buck, we hunted that deer pretty hard and he used a totally nocturnal deer. But uh, the cold weather got him out to our Nebraska food plot. And if you want to watch that video, you can click on the link right here. But I have, here's Shorty's European mount right here. And uh, like I said, a lot of you guys ask questions when I'm doing these European mounts on my Snapchat. And ask me how I do them and what I use and how long I boil them. And I mean, the questions go on forever. So I actually made a video of doing these European mounts the exact same way I still do them today and you can click on the link at the top of the screen and the video will pop up and that video is just me doing the European mounts I mean it's a how-to video pretty much so that will answer a lot of your guys's questions that keep asking me on snapchat so the whole video is right there so just click the link and it'll take you to the European mount video but anyways I know you guys want to go watch the rest of our hunts from uh, the last day of muzzleloader season and uh, Kaylee and Brock get into the action so uh, we'll take you to that on part two so click the link go to part two and uh, that'll be the rest of the day and I really appreciate you guys commenting and uh, liking these videos it really helps me out it it, it makes YouTube recommend my videos more and and when you search videos they pop up quicker with when you have more interaction on your videos so that that is really awesome that you guys always you know comment and, and like my videos and and uh, hopefully I can continue to get more subscribers and uh, keep making videos I enjoy it thanks for watching Okay. Mm -hmm.